World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ. We have this victory. Victory over death. Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. This is the victory we have. If I have believed the one who has risen from the dead, I have to believe that the one who has risen from the dead he is able to do any miracle I want. The one who has risen from the dead, he doesn't want miracle for himself. But he does miracles for us. He works miracles for you. Why? Because he has demonstrated already by his resurrection. In Christ all shall be made alive. In Christ Jesus we are all alive. In Christ Jesus we are alive and we are made alive in Christ Jesus. Also your things which are dead they become alive. All oh, in Christ Jesus. Your hope which was dead becomes alive. Hey, in Christ Jesus you are alive. Praise the Lord. Through Jesus Christ, you have conquered death. Through Jesus Christ, you have conquered also the power of triple six. Mm -hmm. Through Jesus Christ, you have conquered all those evil tools. You who are not yet born again. You have heard about the people who are not written in the book of life. The Bible says they will be thrown into the lake of fire. Is your name written in the book of life? You are not too late. Come and receive Jesus. Oh, The day which you are going to receive Jesus Christ. To us, this is the greatest day. In your life. Your names 
will be written in the book of life. Follow me in this prayer together with those who are watching through the screen of television now. Say Lord Jesus Christ today I have received your word and I've decided in my heart to receive you, Jesus, as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart and forgive me all my sins. Jesus, I believe with my heart that you are the Son of God. And I confess with my mouth that you are the Savior. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for this day. And I give thanks to the Father for my salvation. Amen. Praise the Lord. Clap hands for them. Hey, glory to Jesus Christ. Pastor Azuma, come and give them counseling. Encourage them. They are born again. They are saved today. Hey, they are the newborn babies in the spirit. We are welcoming you. We say welcome. You have entered into the powerful kingdom. Let's clap hands for them as we welcome them in the kingdom of God. Today they are newborn. Babies in the kingdom of God. As the pastor was praying with you, she was ushering you officially into the kingdom of God. Now your names have been written in the kingdom of God. The devil likes it or not. Your names are written. Oh, Satan Arata Asarate Mabito Aluna. We did that from today. Today is your new birth date in the spirit. Satin Lena gets at La Hotswala Sesha Saluna. Now that you have been born again, Zanoga Sehote Sesha. Oh. You have to tell your friends, your family, that you have been born again. So that you can continue maintaining your salvation. When, when you speak with your mouth, telling people that you are born again, this thing stays in you. And it helps you to grow. Now that you have been born again, there is special food that you must eat. And that special food is the word of God. And for you to get that special food, you must get yourself a Bible. You read the Bible. We encourage you to start with the book of John. That book of John is only 21 chapters. You dedicate yourself to reading that word at least one chapter per day. After finishing the book of John, you will realize that in your life you have moved Moved from one level of, of grace to the next. You will feel that now you are a man of God. Now you are a child 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 of God. And you must get yourself a church. Hey, there are many churches these days. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you to the right church. The right church doesn't mean the church that reads a Bible. All the churches, they read a Bible. We encourage you to get the right church, the church that preaches the living word. The church that believes that Jesus Christ 
died and rose again. The church that believes in the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh. The church that believes that the name of Jesus oh. alone is enough for everything that you need. Jesus that you received today does not want to be helped by anything. Oh, just It can be water, rope, stones, oil. It does not want to be helped. Everything that you will ever need in your life, the name of Jesus is Jesus. enough and sufficient for you. If you get into the church and you find that they are not preaching the gospel that you received here. Don't tell the next person that I'm leaving. Just go. When you part ways with the devil, you don't say goodbye. You just go. And Hallelujah. pray that the Holy Spirit may lead you to the right church. We thank God for you today. Hallelujah. World Restoration Service for World Peace by Jesus Christ.